Jeremy Clarkson, 61, has been left fuming that climate change regulations ban him from burning brome or killing it with chemicals. The Clarkson's farm host is now plotting to sell it as a drink to health nuts and thin urban women who like to start their day with a glass of green slime. He said, this must be the way farmers have to think now. I don't doubt that it will have absolutely no nutritional value and will taste worse than a slab of marzipan flavored marmite. But this is of no consequence to the young and the thin and the foolish, the motor expert revealed on his show. It comes after his bid to sell fish in his farm shop ended in failure, after animals ate all his trout. The Who Wants to Be a Millionaire host splashed out on 250 of the fish for a lake at his country pile and hoped to sell the produce at his diddly squat farm shop. He even installed electric fences to keep out otters and nets to prevent greedy herons and cormorants diving for his fish. Jeremy confessed to shoppers in a jokey sign at his Oxfordshire shop. None of the trouts I planted are for sale in the shop. This is because they've all been eaten by the heron, the cormorants, the family of otters, or me. They were delicious, sorry, some of the fish were also lost when heavy rain caused the lake to break its banks. The Grand Tour presenter earlier said of his experiment, I've bought 250 trouts. That has brought cormorants from the coast and a family of otters from God knows where. There's a heron too. There's an electric fence to keep the otters out, nets to keep the cormorants at bay and a pontoon to stop the trouts getting sunburned. Yes, I know, I didn't believe that either, but apparently it's true. His new farm shop is proving a hit with tourists, but not so much with locals, who are objecting to the amount of traffic the farm has created. Undeniably Jeremy has had a tough run of it since purchasing his Chipping Norton farm, as he has encountered a number of obstacles aside from local complaints, including bad weather and the ramifications of Brexit. The born-again farmer has spoken on the difficulty of agricultural life and the challenges of filming his experience of bringing the Diddley Squat Farm to life. The presenter has admitted that farming has proved an unexpected challenge. He shared, I've had the farm since 2008, but I haven't really been involved with it at all. Trending a man in the village ran it, and then he retired, and I don't know what it was, but I just thought, I can do that. I genuinely thought you put seeds in the ground, weather happens and then food grows. So I thought, that's not difficult, but it's phenomenally difficult and the heartache is extraordinary, plus it's phenomenally badly paid. So I thought, if I get someone to film me doing it, that will offset some of the losses, he added to the BBC.